As a Kotec, and in this video, we're going to be making this awesome wavetable preset in Ableton. We'll be working on this pad horns. And here's it in full context. I did another video on this one. You can check out the link. But we're going to be focusing on the pad. Cool, and with that, let's get cracking and making this preset. If you want, you can go ahead and buy this for a buck. Just go ahead, follow the description, grab it, or you can follow along the rest of this video and I'll make this step-by-step -step DIY style so you can follow along and create it yourself. So let's get cracking. All right, here we are in live and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this wavetable and I'm gonna come in and open up a blank one. Great, now we got a blank wavetable. Let's start building this thing. First thing I want to do is start with a sub. I'm going to put the sub on. I'm going to bring this up around here on the gain. And then our tone is about 30, 40%. And our octave is zero. And now, once I have this sub sound, which is a pretty good low infrastructure, I want to build the rest of this track. So let's go into our filter type on the waveform and pick the sweep three. Love how we can sweep this one and get a cool sound. I'm gonna put this around 50% and then let's look at oscillator two. We're gonna throw in the basics as sub three. And put this up around 80. Give it a nice full sound. I'm also gonna put my semitones up at 12 on that oscillator two, and then on oscillator one, I'm gonna put that as negative 12, so we get a nice range of sounds here. Great, now we're gonna move over into the filter section. First thing I'm gonna do is put on this to MS2 filter type, bring down one into really, really low, we're gonna go like 26 around there, and then the resonator, we're gonna bring up, I'm gonna drive the crap out of it, we're not gonna hear much until we start going over into our matrix. And on our matrix with the filter, what we wanna do is set that to 77 or around there. And that way it opens up with that envelope and we get that nice sound out of it. But let's also affect the envelope itself. Looking at that, we want a slower attack. Give that nice kind of relaxed kind of opening and I'm going to set this up to 14 seconds 14.4 oh. let's go around there there we go great and then bring the sustain down perfect now we also want to put on the filter 2 I'm going to set this frequency to much higher about here we go, about 150, 1.50 kilohertz, and resonance up around 57. Now you notice we don't even see this, right? Well, the idea is this number one is filtering and we still have two happening all the time. Great, now let's look at our amp source so we can get a nice kind of movement here. I'm gonna make it a little bit more curved by taking that dot, moving that up. I'm gonna have my attack at around 70. There we go. My decay, I want around 600 milliseconds. I'm just gonna write that in, 600. And then we want our sustain at negative six and a shorter release time. Perfect, now the last thing we wanna do is start playing with this matrix a bit to get it exactly the way we want. And I'm gonna put my wave one position a little bit here on envelope two. So you can see it moves that position a little bit at the beginning. And then we're gonna move our filter one frequency is already set to around 75. I'm gonna change my global mod to the amp, put that up around 70. And that's just changing the overall amount of all these different effects and matrix things that are happening on here with the filters. And lastly, I want to change my LFO one with a filter frequency. So I'm gonna put that up to 48. 
or 50, that's great. And then let's also look into our LFO and play with that a little bit. Now with this LFO, I'm gonna set it to saw on one four, so I'm gonna to have to set this to note value, put it to one four, and we want the full amount. The shape I'm gonna play with just a little bit so it's more of a saw style. And that just gives it a little bit more edge. So here's it all the way down. Turn that up, got a nice edge added to it. And a big change as well is we're gonna put on the classic with seven voices. And we're gonna set that amount to 80, bam. Just opens up and gives it a lot bigger sound. And also lower that volume a little bit. So it fits a little bit better in my track. And then looking here back at the matrix, I'm actually gonna change a few more things. Like I'm gonna change the LFO one rate. So I'm gonna grab that rate, see that here, and I'm going to connect that to my envelope. So we have that cool effect where the rate is changing. Now the sound is pretty close, but there's one thing missing which is I forgot to change that filter. And then change the amount. And then let's hear that pad. And in context. Cool, and there you have it. We have this really sweet sounding horn type pad that we can layer in our music, create a really cool vibe, get that future bass kind of hip hop type of sound going. There you go, that is that horn pad preset we put together in Wavetable, inspired by Flume and a bunch of other artists that make that sweet future bass lush sound. You can follow along, build it yourself, or you can download it for a buck by following the link in the description, or you can grab the massive future bass preset library it's a bunch of different wavetable presets to give you that nice lush sound that you find in future bass some of that more chill strange vibes coming off of like future r&b stuff like that make sure you subscribe so you can see constant flow of videos of wavetable presets and learn a whole bunch about synthesis along the way so subscribe and more coming at you